Hello, hello, uh, Claudia. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Manda Yancy. <laughs> Mr. Eduardo, how are you, sir? Hello, fine, thank you. Do you? Yeah, I'm good. Thursday, you know, two more days and you guys are free. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. Yeah, that's that's right over there. Okay. Um, okay. Let me share uh, with all of you tonight's class. Okay. So I'm just gonna text you over here and and let you know about that. Uh, I'm texting in the WhatsApp. Okay. Just one second. Good evening, everyone. This is the class for tonight, all right? So I'm gonna send to you a PDF with all the activities that hopefully we're gonna have the opportunity to uh, cover today, okay? So just one second over here. You know, I think it's better if I share with you all the activities instead of just sending, um, image by image. I think this is a better practice. And in that way, you have the uh, presentation uh, as a backup and you can review, okay, at home when you're bored or something like that, okay? I mean, that's the idea. That's the idea over here. Um, let's see. All right, so I'm sending this. The name of the uh, file is Beginner Module Section One and Two, but it's it's basically uh, what we what you guys will cover with me. Okay, now let me know, please, if you actually got it, if you don't mind. So, do you have it over there? Can somebody, uh, you know, try to open this uh, document and see if it actually works over there? So, lo que estoy haciendo es que le voy a compartir la clase de ahora. Okay. So, so I'm going to give you VIP access, everyone. So, VIP access this evening. So, that's the idea over here. So, it's is it working, Eduardo, or did you get it already or not? I don't know you you haven't right? Uh, no. Uh, yeah. I think I didn't uh, see anything. Yeah, that's why you know sometimes it's better to double check. <laughs> I think I sent it to the English Corporativo, but to the teachers <laughs> chat. <laughs> okay. A little bit a little bit lost, right? Huh. So. Good evening, everyone. Okay, this is tonight's class. Now, yes, okay. All right, you got a message now, right? But not a document, am I correct, uh, Mr. Baltazar? Check your WhatsApp, please, if you don't mind. Okay. Ah, yeah. Now you got it. Yeah, yeah. All right, so. Yeah. All right, so that's the idea. Okay, so that's the idea. The idea is that you can easily. That's the idea. So you can easily navigate and then keep uh, keep track of whatever we do over here. Let's say, uh, for example, if you, uh, Mr. Baltazar, Mr. Gonzalez, uh, you finish one activity, you can uh, begin maybe working or just checking the next activity. All right. So I think this, this, okay, way, all right. 
Okay. I, th I think this is going to wait. Uh, I mean, this is going to work just fine for you as well, Eduardo. Okay. Okay. And, you know, you can go like zoom in and then you have the document over there. All right. You see, you can expand the view. That's the idea over here. Okay. Out of this document. Okay. And if you want, uh, or if you want me to send the whole presentations that I use on you on section one, section two, three, and four, I can share them with you once this module is over. Okay. So I, I can, okay. I can definitely, you know, help you with that. And to start with, let's begin with this. All right. Let's begin with this. Um, with a couple of, of dates and everything. Okay. So just one second over here. All right. So let's see who we have in the house already. So I have uh, uh, Eduardo, Catherine, good evening. Uh, Flor and Ayansi, I have Claudia, and then uh, Baltasar, Mr. Gonzalez over there. So only seven so far. And right now Perfect. is 805. Okay, it's okay. ¿verdad? It's okay. Right. Vamos a darles un poquito más de tiempo. <laughs> That's the idea over there. All right, so let's begin over here. So remember that this module, uh, it says that it's going to end on the 26th, right? But just to uh, confirm the information with you. So tomorrow, of course, is Friday. The next Friday is the 12th. That is going to be the third week of this uh, class. The last day you have to finish the platform, do the homework. And the last class we will have is on February the 19th. So in almost two weeks, uh, we are going to say, you know, goodbye, all right? February the 19th, and like we say over here, save the date, okay? Save the date. El 19 se acaba todo. El 26 es cuestión administrativo. Eh, después de las 12 de la medianoche del, del, del viernes 19, ya el sistema no le va a aceptar las tareas, los midterms, el final exam. Y el 19, que es viernes, es la última clase que nosotros vamos a tener de 8 a 10, ¿verdad? Como siempre. Ok. Eh, God's will, all right? God's will. Primero, primero Dios, right? God's will. Mandé esa frase, esa frase en el chat, all right? I know, you, I know that you, everyone, are very organized. Uh, you work, you're very responsible. So that's what I'm, I'm telling you this. So uh, this uh, does engage you off guard, okay? Para que no nos agarren curva, right? So the word of this evening, or I would say the phrases of, the, of this evening, right? Uh, it's I'm tired, okay? Sometime, sometimes you're tired because you had a long day maybe because you you were like i don't know working non-stop for hours and hours all right and you just want to just sit back relax drink something uh, uh cold or just watch tv or just to uh, take a cup of coffee or something like that all right so um these these are the ways or the different ways to say i'm tired right or estoy cansado okay some of the phrases are more common than the other ones, but at least try to say, uh, I'm tired in a different way. Okay? Tratemos de decir, estoy cansado. You can say, I'm exhausted. Okay? How would you say, and let me, let me ask maybe Raul, how would you say, Raul, uh, synonyms in Spanish de estar cansado? Estoy fatigado. Uh, help me out, please. Yeah. En español, bueno, buenas noches. En español, eh, estoy agotado, estoy cansado, rendido, uh -huh. 
<laughs> exactly. Okay, yeah, you're right. You can say that. Eh, estoy molido. <laughs> De atolito. <laughs> exactly. So that, you see this one, I'm drained, ¿verdad? Así como molido, pues, la batería se le, ha, se le ha drenado, significa literalmente. But in this case, we're saying that you are like totally tired, okay? Totally tired over here. Let me get this. Um, and here we go. So, cansadísimo, right? Exhausto. I'm, you know, I'm exhausted, 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 all right? Exhausted, okay? Exhausted. I'm beat, ¿verdad? Beat also means, you know, like the song, Michael uh, Jackson song. Um, you know, beat means, you know, also to hit. And if you're a musician, uh, you know, the beats, right? The beats of, of the music over there. But in this case, is, estoy molido, right? I'm beat, ¿verdad? Uh, eh, golpeado, eh, etc., etc., right? I'm drained is I'm exhausted but uh, it, it means that you have no more energy uh, left over here. I'm drained, ¿verdad? Estoy agotado, all right? Drained, I'm fatigued, fatigue, okay? Fatigue, literally, uh, it, it means estoy fatigado, right? So that's what that phrase means over there. I'm white out, white out. A wiper, it's, it's, you know, something you use to clean, right? A wiper. Y también son los cricos de su carro, right? A wiper. Entonces, wiped out es como que me han exprimido, right? You know, wiped out. You know, that's what it is. Sometimes that happens in our jobs. That happens sometimes, right? Because we have, I don't know, uh, due days, o sea, fechas límites, and then we have to go against the schedule, all right? Or against the clock, or whatever. White out. White out. Okay, white out. Eh, esta cuestión, verdad? White out. La P en este sentido se hace una, uh, en realidad es como wiped out, wipe, no va a decir uh, wipe it, no, why, y luego la, la, esta es una T, right, wiped out, la P no va a decir wipe it, no, wipe, wiped out, ok, I'm worn out, ok, worn out es como quemado, verdad, estoy fatigado, worn out, eh, porque where es el verbo, eh, usar o llevar puesto, ¿verdad? Entonces, como unos pantalones que ya estén, pero así ya, en un, un, una, uh, un hilito, ¿verdad? O un hilacha, como decimos, eh, es worn, algo bien usado es worn, ¿ok? And so that's why. Lo mismo, I'm weary, ¿verdad? Estoy como ya, bien cansado. But let's make a top three, ¿all right? Let's make a top three over here. And uh, let me just go here, minimize this. I highly suggest you use, o sea, les sugiero que utilicen, I'm exhausted, I'm worn out, and you can say I'm beat. Of course, uh, you can say I'm drained, I'm fatigued, etc., etc., right? But uh, there's another one. There's I'm burned out, como quemado, ¿verdad? Burned out. Voy a mandar eso al chat de aquí de, de, de Zoom, okay? Um, burn out, okay, burn out, verdad, estoy quemado, verdad, molido, burn out, so as I, as I always tell you everyone, it's up to you which phrase you will use, so from now on, from now on, de hoy en adelante, okay, so de hoy en adelante, usted ya no va a decir solamente I'm tired, sino que va a decir I'm burned out, verdad, I'm exhausted, Okay, I want to go home. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, that's it, right? Yeah, que se acabe. And then um, burned out, as I said over there. Okay. Uh, you may use, you know, one of those phrases, you know, anytime soon. All right. And I think that, you know, the life of an adult or grown up uh, life uh, relates a lot with this phrase, ¿verdad? La frase es que le dice relaciona con nosotros, ¿verdad? Porque al final de mes, you know, at the end of the month, you have to hurry up, right? You have to hurry up, right? Okay. To continue, let's see. It's 8.15, all right? This is just a friendly reminder, okay? 
a friendly reminder. Cuando usted les manda un memo en la empresa, si trabajan de esa forma, un memo, ¿verdad? Entre comillas, right? Like this. <laughs> It's a friendly reminder, right? Okay, do it or otherwise, ¿verdad? Entonces, a friendly reminder. Okay, this is a friendly reminder. O como decimos nosotros en, en español eh, salvadoreño, es eh, un ultimátum, ¿verdad? <laughs> o, o like we say, ¿verdad? Uh, people may say, uh, no sé, salve que people say that, right? But in this case, what I mean is, it's just a reminder over there, right? <laughs> okay, so you need to remember you have one, two, three, four, and five uh, activities to complete. Le vamos a llamar actividades, right? Porque la plataforma, yo no, no soy de acuerdo que la llame tareas y después se tienen una tarea, se van a confundir porque van a decir solo una tarea tengo que hacer de, de, y hay cuatro más, ¿verdad? Solamente hace una, okay? So you gotta be careful on that one, all right? Gotta be careful on that one. And what I, what I, I need from you is para motivarnos, if you like, you know, just to encourage participation. Si usted ya lo hizo, you can share the progress on the uh, chat, ¿verdad? El chat que tiene es, uh, las letras esas raras de este grupo. O me lo manda a mí en privado. So you can send it to me as a DM, you know, direct message. Okay. Bueno, that's it with, let's say, with uh, generalities y avisos, como decían, avisos parroquiales en el pueblo. <laughs> okay. Um, there's the opportunity to practice. I know, my friends, that yesterday was, I would say, a difficult maybe day or a, a, or a tiring, un día cansado, tiring day for you because of the grammar that we cover. And there was one exercise, hubo un ejercicio que nos dio dolor de cabeza, el que tenía repetido el off, y que Raúl me dijo, so you told me, I, I, I thought I sounded like, uh, I don't know, like a nander down. Como un Neanderthal, ¿verdad? Sonábamos como yo, tirar piedra. ¿verdad? Entonces, fue un día pesado, ya, amigo. So I watched a little bit. Demanding, you know, demanding, ¿verdad? Demandante. So we, we will start with this college life. All right? For uh, those of you, all right, who had the chance to attend college, um, you may go back in time. And remember, you know, those days when we used to be young, right? And thin, ¿verdad? Jóvenes y delgados. <laughs> okay? We are still right or not, right? <laughs> okay, so this is a listening, by the way, all right? Which I'm about to send the uh, the audio to you. you we, that's the, the first activity for uh, this class, Okay. Now I have Rocio, I have Jacqueline, Nelson, Dolores. I have uh, most of you already in this class. All right, so welcome back. So um, one second over here. Uh, just to clarify something in here, if you just joined this class, I shared with you a PDF, all right, which is in the chat. And um, That's for the class, all right, for uh, right now. So instead of just me sharing uh, with you some images, you have access to the entire or, or, or the class completa, right, for, for tonight, okay? Revisa en el chat del WhatsApp, por favor, ahí está la clase de esta noche, que se las compartí ya, ¿verdad? Lo que no tienen son los, eh, los enlaces y todo eso, ¿verdad? Porque eso no, no, no se ve reflejado. In, uh, in the PDF over there, okay? So right now I'm sharing with you the uh, the listening, all right? It's, a first, it's a, the first listening. I want you to click on that one, please. Don't listen to, to it uh, yet. Um, I would like to give you some uh, tips, okay? Le voy a dar quizás como un par de recomendaciones. If you allow me, si me lo permite. Cuando usted tenga que hacer listening. So when there's a listening. And I think you will take advantage of that. Okay. Para que lo aprovechen al máximo. All right. So you take advantage of that one. So here we go. And all right. In English, there is something called pre-listening 
while listening and post listening activity. Entonces, o oh, maybe in football or in sports, there is something called uh, el calentamiento, right? You have to warm up. O sea, this is what we're doing right now, ¿verdad? El warm up, ¿verdad? El calentamiento. And then the, you have to read the questions. Ya voy a compartir la pantalla. Sé que, sé que no estoy compartiendo pantalla. Entonces, eh, solo para... All right. Here we go. Entonces, para que usted aproveche al 100%, or you take advantage of this, la mejor forma de hacer un listening, y se lo digo por experiencia, eh, se lo voy a darles mute por acá, ahí está. Lea lo más posible de qué se va a tratar el listening, ¿verdad? Entonces dice el nivel, obviamente, al final es como easy school life. Man and woman, and then the time, ¿verdad? Esto es para mí, no es para ustedes. Pero lo que importa es esto. Weather no significa clima. Esto es una palabra bien formal que significa if. Sí, ¿verdad? Pero sí de condición, ¿ok? Si este lado el clima, muchos de nosotros no nos bañamos, ¿verdad? Temprano. O nos bañamos con agua caliente, con agua caliente ¿verdad? Entonces, weather. Por, por si usted, por si usted no, eh, dice, ¿qué es esto? Weather, el clima. No, 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 no. Esto significa if, ¿verdad? Si. Si usted trata, if you are trying to get uh, an online MBA, ¿verdad? Una maestría, Master's in Business Administration, ¿verdad? An MBA, or just going to a local college. Si la letra está pequeña, lo, lo uh, animo a que en su teléfono, or in your device, your computer, or cell phone, you know, to open this information, all right? And then you can have it over there. Yo no lo puedo expandir más porque me aparecen anuncios, me aparecen datos que no puedo compartir. Ok, so that's why. Ok, so that's why. Eh, uh, just going to a local college. Ok, college es sinónimo de universidad. Y mucha gente dice que college es, eh, es un colegio, pero no. Ok. Menciono esto porque si usted dice, my son or my daughter goes to a college, I will understand that your, your child, ¿verdad? Su hijo, uh, goes to the university. Si usted quiere decir, mi hijo, o yo voy a la universidad, um, me, va, me va a decir, I go to college. Si, voy, si va o asiste a un colegio que hoy está en línea, you know, online classes, you're going to say private school. Private, ¿verdad? Escuela privada. Private school. Creo que no está de más mencionarlo. And I'm going to write it down in the, in the chat. Uh, here in Zoom, ¿ok? Eso es colegio, ¿verdad? College is a university. Si ustedes me preguntan y nos volvemos técnicos en qué es la diferencia de un college y una universidad, most of the time a university is bigger, all right, than a college. Because in the States... You may have um, community college, technical college, etc., etc. Así como el IVCA, ¿verdad? Que fuera como nivel superior, but it has to be higher education. Eh, that's college. ¿Ok? Entonces, esto a nosotros nos va a preparar de qué se va a tratar el ICE. Usted puede escanear la información, ¿verdad? No le digo que lo haga así como lo estamos haciendo, porque uh, that's not necessary. Entonces, there are a number of things you have to consider, including location, cost, and the reputation of the school, es decir, el prestigio. What factor is most, is most important to you? Entonces, cuando les aparezca esto, this means that most likely, es decir, más pro, lo más probable es que esta información o estas palabras les aparezca en la conversación. So I think it's a good idea, you know, you know to read this before playing the audio, okay? Lo que les quiero decir con esto, in, you know, in, in, in short words, okay, or in short, or in corto, que lean primero de qué se va a tratar, you know, what the listening is about, and then scroll down, revisen las preguntas, so check uh, the questions out, check the uh, options, you see, and everything over here. And sometimes it gives you vocabulary right below, over there. But in this case, uh, can I have a volunteer, please, very quickly to go uh, question one, uh, two, 
uh, three, four, and five, and then individually, es decir, ustedes mismos lo van a escuchar, and then I'm going to get the feedback from you. All right? So, may I have a volunteer, please, who can help me read? Un voluntario que me ayude a leer la pregunta, question, uh, the questions over here, please. So, just one, please. Ahí. Ahí, sir. Um, what does the man want to, the, to do after he graduate? All right. Number two. What is, what is the woman's major? Okay. How does the woman pay for college? Okay. <clears throat> Where does the man work part time? All right. The last one. What thing did the man not say about his job? By aclaración, esta pregunta está en pasado, pero usted relaciónele de que qué es lo que no dice este señor. Okay. okay. What thing did the man not say about his job? Okay. Did es el pasado del do. Y como el do es un auxiliar, ocupamos el auxiliar del pasado de do, obviamente para el tiempo gramatical, simple past tense, all right? Okay. So, y otra, otra aclaración, ¿verdad? Y quizás muchos no estamos demorando. Major. Pero, yeah, major con, con fuerza, yo, 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 como decir yo, ¿verdad? Pero así como que usted fuera argentino, right? If you're from Argentina, right? Major. I am. <laughs> all right, yeah. And then... <laughs> You say major, 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 major. Se, se hace como hielo, el hielo que decimos, verdad, hielo, o como el color, you know, yellow, si tuviera una Y. Acá es major. El alcalde, all right, major, all right. Major, okay. lo mencioné, y somebody please remind me what this word means. Que me recuerde a alguien, por favor, que, que, que significa esta palabra. ¿En qué contexto lo ocupamos? Like, let's see, right now. Just. I don't know. Yo recuerdo que dijo algo de relacionar con estudiar. Exactamente, exactamente. Ah. Dos conceptos, ¿verdad? Dos conceptos, ¿verdad? Aclarando conceptos. <ríe> ok. No, ¿verdad? No, no, no haga eso, me va a decir. Este... Cuando usted está en la universidad, so while you are still studying, okay, and going to college, su carrera universitaria, so you, you say major, all right? You can say my major is medicine. My major is uh, engineering. My major is education, all right? Et cetera, et cetera. Okay? In the same of career. Sí, pero career es cuando usted... Yeah, 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 yeah. Ya ejerce. Oh, okay. Exactly. When you already work out. Uh, already. All right. Por eso que you, I, I have a long career, you say, right? You have uh, 10 years, I don't know, 15 years working for the same company, right? Okay. okay. So, entonces, major. Pero también la palabra major significa algo grande, ¿verdad? Como el Super Bowl, que es something, a major event, right? O la liga de béisbol, right? Major leagues. ¿Ok? Major league. Entonces, uh -huh. es algo grande. Y si usted tiene un gran problema, como dice, me metí en un gran pi, decimos, ¿verdad? <risa> Entonces, eh, you say, I have a major problem, ¿verdad? A big problem. right? Major. Eh, pero es una palabra bien formal que se relaciona solamente eh, con la universidad o su carrera. All right? So, and okay. pronunciation tip. Un, un tip de pronunciación. Vamos a ver. Mm -hmm. Mr. González, sir, how do you pronounce this one? Uh, graduate. Right. Thank you, sir. Good. I mean, I, I won't say, o sea, no le voy a decir if it's correct or not. Solo estoy haciendo un, un sondeo, okay? I'm just doing, you know, a, a okay. short survey over there. Uh, so I'm going to choose a survey, I mean, a, a, a lady uh, that can help me over here. All right. Uh, y perdón que nos hemos detenido, pero uh, si no hemos escuchado cómo se pronuncia la palabra, tendemos a darle una pronunciación en español. 
¿ok? Como nosotros creemos. And that's okay. Nothing happens over there. So, Eduardo, please, would you help us pronounce this one? If you don't mind. Uh, graduate? Yeah, that's okay. All right. Yeah, but that's also, it's okay. But, I mean, we're getting close over there. We're getting close. <laughs> okay. So, that's okay. Uh, quizás un favor le voy a pedir que, aunque no tengan la cámara encendida, ¿verdad? Eh, permanentemente, pero por lo menos... Eh, le encendamos de vez en cuando en las prácticas y todo. Y si su internet le está fallando, that's okay, don't worry about that. Eh, Rocío, would you help us, please, if you don't mind? Miss Pimentel. Graduate. All right, thank you so much. Eh, lo que le voy a decir a continuación, muchas veces nosotros de profesores esperamos hasta que ustedes tengan un nivel avanzado para dar estos tips. Pero mejor empecemos a... a abordar esas cosas, ¿verdad? Eso, esas pequeñas, pequeños detalles que los van a hacer a ustedes sonar, ¿verdad? Con un buen nivel de inglés y que en realidad sí saben hablar como la gente habla en Estados Unidos o en otra parte del mundo, ¿ok? Right? Entonces, la D en este sentido se hace una Y como en major, ¿verdad? Como que dijera, yo soy argentino, yo, graduate, graduate, ¿ok? Graduate. And if you ask me, es una cuestión del idioma que en este caso así va. Igual que la palabra educación. No me va a decir education. Y para que usted se aprenda, quizás una regla es cuando la D va en esas palabras, ¿ok? Three words. Por lo menos mantengámonos en eso. En esas tres palabras. No lo aplique siempre, solo en esas tres palabras, right? Eh, graduate. Graduate. Next one, que es muy... Education, education, educación, all right? Y cuando hacemos algo individual o algo uh, individually, right? Individual, individual, indi, es bien raro porque en individual tenemos dos de, la primera es como nosotros sabemos y la segunda es como je, individual. Si usted hace algo individualmente, I work individually. Right? Ese es un adverbio, ¿verdad? Porque le está diciendo el cómo. ¿Ok? Individually. All right? It's not necessary that you memorize this, pero por lo menos, you already listen to me. You know, and if they say graduate in this uh, uh, conversation, you're going to, your brain, su cerebro, you know, will click. And then you will go, all right, yeah. We don't say education, we say education, and then we say graduate. So without further ado, my friends, play the listening individually, all right? And then if you want, share your score in the WhatsApp chat. Si gustan, comparten su score en el WhatsApp uh, once you're done, all right? Thank you so much. Y si, and if you're not able to listen, ya voy a poner el listening, all right? Thank <clears throat> you. 
All right, so I'm um, I'm waiting for your um, for your answers. Okay. All right, so um, are you done already? Or you're still working on this one? Si gusta, comparten sus, sus, uh, sus scores en WhatsApp, ¿verdad? Para darle seguimiento, OK. Okay. All right, so I got some responses. Let's see. First one, I think it's from Raul. Yes, Raul. Okay. And then I have two less, four out of five, all right? That's okay. That's a great score, okay? And then I guess Douglas, uh, let's see. Yeah, same one, right? 80% you got. Okay, anybody else? Nice, Rocio. Nice, and we have, that's a same one, right? But a different... Uh, Incorrect one. Okay. Something about this listening uh, is that they speak very fast, right? Like they go like this, right? Very, very fast. Okay. All right. And then we have Mr. Gonzalez, four out of five. That's great. Okay. But let's continue over here. Um, so I'm going to ask some of you who already answered this so we can move on. Okay. Um, all right, so if you would like to help us, Cesar, uh, uh, Cesar, if you would like to help us with, with this, okay? I think I'm sharing the screen. Yes, I am, sir. Okay, um, Jazz. Okay, maybe um, some of you were not able to listen to this. Your internet was failing. I'm going to play it. And this is like the second opportunity for you to uh, listen to this. O sea, voy a darle play para que tengamos, para que tengamos verdad, otro, o, otra oportunidad. So you can have another opportunity, okay? And then, Cesar, you will help me choose the correct answer, okay? Okay. All right. Thank you. And if you don't know anything, uh, I mean, uh, at least uh, one, uh, I'm go I, we can help you or I can help you with her. So I I'm playing this. Oh, hi, Dave. Long time no see. Hi, Maria. I was in the neighborhood, so I thought I'd drop by. Come on in. Thanks. Take a seat. Would you like anything to drink? I have Sprite or orange juice. Sprite would be fine. Uh, so how I want to work at oh, not bad. And you? Uh, I'm doing okay, but school is... All right. I'm, go I'm just going to pause this over here just for a second. The best thing that he... you can... Yes, sir? He, uh, he wants to work at hotel number three. Yeah, that's correct. 
the best thing that you can do is please answer immediately, all right? No esperen hasta que el listening se acabe, all right? Because your memory, you know, will uh, play against you. in contra de ustedes, you know, your memory. So that's why, okay? It's been really hectic these days and I haven't had time to relax. By the way, what's your major anyway? Hotel management. Well, what do you want to do once you graduate? Uh, I haven't decided for sure, but I think I'd like to work for a hotel or travel agency in this area. How about you? Well, when I first started college, I wanted to major in French, but I realized I might have a hard time yeah. finding a job using the language. So I changed majors to computer science. Oh. With the right skills, landing a job in the computer industry should be a job. So, do you have a part-time job to support yourself through school? Well, fortunately for me, I received a four-year academic scholarship wow. that pays for all of my tuition and books. Wow, that's great. Yeah. How about you? Are you working your way through school? Yeah, I work three times a week at a restaurant near campus. Oh, what at do you restaurant. do? I'm a cook. How do you like your job? It's okay. The other workers are friendly and the pay isn't bad. Uh huh. And this one will be so, sir. Four long hours. It works long hours. Okay. What is something that he that he does not mention? Of course, he says that he's a poor he, worker and friendly. Must allow. And the pay is okay. Yes. Yeah. He works a long hours. Yeah. He won't, uh, He works long hours. Remember yesterday, no. or, may, or maybe, thank you, Caesar. Remember one of these days uh, I told you, all right? So I told you one of these days, les mencioné. La C y la H en inglés se pronuncian como K. K, all right? So uh, she received a scholarship. Esta es una beca. Una beca, ya sea universitaria, una beca para estudios... Eh, superior de otra índole, all right? A scholarship, or it could be a scholarship, uh, a sports scholarship, una beca deportiva, or an academic scholarship. So it depends over there, all right? So it depends in there. No sé si alguien quiere compartir la experiencia con los listeners o una recomendación o algo que a ustedes les funciona para entender o lo pone dos, dos tres veces. <laughs> oh. O lo pausa. So, if somebody... Uh, no, retrocedo un poquito. <laughs> <laughs> that's okay. I mean, that's, that's valid. All right. That's okay. Para escuchar de nuevo bien. Sí. Bueno, yo en mi, en mi caso, lo que, lo, bueno, lo que yo hago es que, para este caso en particular, leo todas las respuestas y luego cuando ya escucho el audio, trato de... de, 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 o sea, de Relacionar de relacionar cuál de las posibles respuestas logré escuchar aunque sea dos palabras. Esa es mi forma. Exacto. Es una, algo de memoria y también de, de su vista, ¿verdad? Entonces está bien. Aceptable. ¿Anybody else? Nayan, sí, dígame. Teacher, al momento que se las iba a enviar, no sé qué le apreté y se me pasó todo a español. <risa> Y le quería poner en inglés y todito, todito, todito me parece en español. Creo que le aparece en su buscador. No, no sé si puede volvérmelo a mandar. Sí, por supuesto. Eh, bueno, pero el, el, listening, el enlace ahí está en el WhatsApp, ¿verdad? Ahí está. Ok. So, um, permítanme. Let me make the breakout room so you go ahead and practice. Now we're going to practice the conversation. So you will pretend to be the woman and then the student who, or, or, who go to college over there. So in this moment, vamos a hacer los grupos pequeños, las salas, so you can practice in person. The college. Okay? So that's what we would, uh, we're going to do right now. So let me just one second over here. Verdad? Uh, just, you know, it's time to practice, all right? So that's all I'm saying over here. Uh, so help each other please all right and please underline words that you don't know the meaning or the pronunciation of verdad subrayen eh, palabras para que yo les pueda asistir después okay there you go so uh mr balta jacqueline there you go. raul all right 
And then Anayansi, uh, Dolores, eh, Miss Pimentel, eh, Douglas, Eduardo, Juan Carlos. That's a great team, by the way. Claudia, Catherine, and uh, Flor. You know, girl power. A bakery, <laughs> in, in library. Yes. A docent, a docent woman, right, for college. All right, so uh, join, uh, let's join the, uh, the rooms, okay? Activity, activity, activity. Eh, hay, que, hay que picarle ahí para que ah, salga toda la conversación. Pero ahí está. Teacher. Aquí está toda la conversación. Me llamó la atención cuando le dice: ¿Qué quieres Exacto. comer? ¿Sprite o jugo de naranja? <risa> Ajá. Naranja. Vamos a ver. Eh, a mí me llama la atención donde dice: donde Dave dice: Hi, María. I was in the neighborhood. O sea, yo estaba en el vecindario. So, I thought sí. I drop. A eso no sé. Pasando iba, eh, ne, ne. Pasando iba. Ah, literalmente. Ese, ese, ese. I was, uh, I, I was in the neighborhood o algo así. Neighborhood es vecindario o barrio. Vecind o barrio. Bueno, vecindario porque... Si fuera barrio, fueran los homies. <risa> que no es yeah, be careful. Vecindario, vamos. Luego dice... Eh, vecindario. Ajá. ¿Qué otra letra o qué otra palabra? Ahí donde dice... Dice, oh, I'm doing okay. But, but school... But school. Being really hectic. Hectic. ¿Qué es hectic? Hectic. 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 Hectic es frenético, apurado, o sea, está Locado, uh, alocado, atareado. atareado. Oh, hmm. Hectic. Ahí puede decir busy, como va bien. Eh, pero, pero es como hectic, como bien frenético, o sea, está bien está movido. Pura candela. <ríe> Hay que hacer como, como el cantante Eminem que se aprende todos los días una palabra nueva. Yeah, Nosotros good. ya aprendimos bastante en estos últimos días. La verdad que sí. La cuestión es hay que anotarlas para por lo menos uno. Ah, lo miré. Ya va a agarrar su libreta. Su libreta. Entonces, <coughs> that's, that's the thing. Teacher, aquí donde dice María, donde está María, donde dice... Eh, What do you like Anton Anta Anton Dink or drink? Anton Anton Anthony. Ah, al principio. Ajá, uh -huh, al principio. Okay. Anton Dink. Ajá. Uh -huh. Anything to drink? Ah, this ah, esa, like... esa. Ah, no, esta. esa, esa. What do you like anything to drink? Ah, would you ah, like? Would you would, like? Ajá. Uh -huh. Como que deseas tomar. Would you like? Aquí le está diciendo 
que quisiera. ¿Qué quieres tomar? tomar? Y le dice... Eh, no, aquí le está, le, le está diciendo, ¿quieres tomar algo? ¿O quisieras tomar algo? Y solo le da <coughs> opciones. Ajá, cuando usted va a los restaurantes, le tienen que decir, eh, would, you, ¿Would you like uh, something to drink or anything to drink? No. Okay. Porque es la forma correcta de decir would. Would es, eh, 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 le pone la, la cuestión formal. Porque yo le puedo decir, do you want to drink something, sir? Es más directo. Entonces le voy a decir would. Entonces okay. would. Would. Es would. 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 Es como would. Would you like. Would. 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 W. 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 Would. To like. Would. Would you like anything to drink? Would. 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 Would you like a dessert, sir? Drink. Quiero un postre. O jugo, o jugo sí, de sí, naranja. Out of spring. Sí. Uh, I have spring. Ajá, uh -huh, exactly. O oh, la forma informal le pueden decir a ustedes, le pueden uh, decir uh, anything to drink. Eh, hay algo que siempre me he preguntado, siempre me olvida buscar. Anything to drink. Permítame, que creo que algo se de cortó tomar. Ahí. Ajá, algo que. Ajá. Va. Ajá, no iba a preguntar eh, algo, perdón, que creo que se parte, cortó. Dígame. Hay una parte donde dice María, well, what do you want to do once you graduate? Once you graduate. Well, uh -huh. well, what do you want? El once, ¿qué significa? Once. El once. One. Once. <laughs> once. <laughs> It means once. una vez que. Once. Una vez que. ¿Cómo se pronuncia? Un, once. 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 Por eso que cuando ustedes eh, comienza a, a un, un cuento a contar un, una historia, usted dice once upon a time. Era así una vez. Era así una vez. Okay. Once upon a time. Uh, once upon a time. Once upon a time. Once upon a time, there was a, a student who began to study at English Corporativo. And then he became, y ya va a decir usted, aprendí inglés. Entonces, once upon a time. Okay. Once upon a time. Okay. Once. What, what once. Friends, ¿Qué vas a hacer? Once o sea, wanted, ¿qué, ¿qué quieres friends. hacer cuando te gradúes, verdad? Una vez, una vez ya esté graduado. Okay. Once you graduate. Okay. Hablarle a todo el mundo en inglés. <laughs> yeah, text. Exactly. Exactly. Hay, exactly. hay una parte exactly. más abajo donde dice eh, donde dice we eh, supuestamente David dice oh y María dice with the right skill land ah, okay. job. Aquí ve. With the right Aquí. skill. With o sea, right. es como cuando le dicen si, si usted tiene madera o, o trae para eso, o sea, le dice with the right skills, es decir, con sus habilidades, eh, con las habilidades correctas o, o apropiadas, eh, usted lo va, lo va Por ejemplo, yo le digo ahorita, with the right skills, uh, you can learn English, pero no le estoy diciendo de que usted va a ser, eh, no sé, un, una lumbre para aprender inglés, sino que with the right skills, o sea, practice, you do the listening, y luego eso, ¿verdad? Entonces, with the right skills, ¿verdad? Con las habilidades apropiadas o correctas. Dice landing a job. La, uh, landing a job in the computer industry, o sea, encontrar un, un, un trabajo, ¿no? Landing a job, ¿verdad? Aterrizar, es, literalmente se traduce. A aterrizar en un trabajo. Okay. Ajá. O encontrar un trabajo, ¿verdad? Son expresiones como es cuestiones del idioma y son nativos los que están hablando. Eh, por eso ocupan frases así. Okay, the offer. Y este. Eh, dele, Walter, dele, dele, dele. Teacher, y este Dave, en la última, donde dice The Hort. Work get at friendly. Ah, ok. Abajito. Abajito, ¿eh? esta, friendly. En la última, the date. 
Ajá, uh -huh. how do you like? Mm -hmm. It's okay, are friendly, okay. Son amigables, ¿verdad? Son buenas personas, amigables. Ah, uh, ok. Ajá, uh -huh. son fáciles de llevar, digamos, friendly. Y la paga no es mala. Ah, and pay is, isn't bad, all right. Puede decir payment, salary, pero pay es una forma normal de decir pago. Pay, así como nosotros. Uh -huh. ¿Verdad? Pay. Yo la rata, decimos. Día de pago, payday. All right, uh -huh. payday. ¿Verdad? O oh, el día de la rata. Like, well, that's what we say, right? El día de la rata. <laughs> All right. So, okay. friendly. So, I can say uh, this class has a friendly environment, ¿verdad? Tiene un, un ambiente amigable, ¿verdad? Amigable. Acogedor, acogedor. So, we can say that. Yeah. Yeah. So, that's why. Okay. Entonces, eh, esta palabra en realidad casi no se usa. Yo puedo decir a very busy or a crazy day que significa lo mismo, pero este es más especializado, okay. más específico. All right? Okay, so uh, try to practice. I have to go visit some of your classmates. Okay. 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 Tengo que ir, ¿verdad? Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. In this, in this area, how about you? Well, when I first started college, I wanted to major in French, but a racer, I, I might. Excuse me. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, I realize, realize, realize. I realize. Me di cuenta. Re I realize significa darse cuenta. But I realize. But I realize. I might, I might, 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 I might have a hard time finding a job using the language so changes majors, uh -huh. majors, majors, the the computer science to computer science, science to computer science. To computer size. Um, oh, okay. With the right skill, with the right skills. With the right, right skills. Landing. Landings and jobs in the, in the computer industry. In the computer industry. In the in the industry. In the computers. Industry shouldn't, shouldn't, shouldn't. Industries to, shouldn't be as difficult. 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 <laughs> difficult. Right. Yes, that's okay. Buy it. Okay. Uh, uh, realize uh, language change computer science. Science. La S en realidad no, no se procede. No comienza con la science. 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 Right. Un científico scientist. Okay. All right. Ciencia, science, all right? Science. Industria, industry, indo, indo, indo. Indo. Industry. 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 Right? Yes. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Uh, um, I have a question. What's yes. the meaning of, of landing? Uh, like finding or getting a job. But literally, it means aterrizar, ¿verdad? O llegar, o encontrar. Como, landing. like NASA landing in the moon in 1969. So, landing. Or with an airplane, you know, it's landing, you know, in the airport. All right, but, mm -hmm. okay. Okay, okay. Eh, bueno, continuo so, yo. Oh, ah, no, usted, ¿verdad, Nayance? Perdón. So, do you have a part-time job to support yourself through school? To support. To support. To support. To support. Apoyar, ¿verdad? O, uh, apoyar. Support. All right? Support. All right. Yo le digo, apoyense mutuamente. Support each other or help each other. Support each other. All right? Support. Yeah, continue, pues. Dollars. Well, for um, for fortunately for me, 
uh, I received I received a four years academic scholarship that paid for all of my como digo eso tuition 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 and the books what's the meaning of tuition tuition it's, the, it's tu the one time payment you give in the school matricula all right ah, okay all right and uh, uh, fortunately 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 Fortunately, Afortunadamente, I received, received, received. I received four yeah. years academic scholarship. Okay. Nice. All right. Tuition. Tuition is. Okay. All right. Who's next? Wow. That's great. Uh, yeah. How about you? Are you working your way through a school? Yeah, I work three times a week at a restaurant near near campus. Oh, what do you do here? I am a cook. How do you like your job? It's okay. The other workers are friendly and the pay is bad. Isn't, isn't bad. Isn't bad. Isn't bad. Yes. I like how, how everyone pronounces the S at the end, ¿verdad? Qué bueno que están pronunciando las S. Uh, and that's good. Um, let me just tell you something over here. Working through, 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 through. Como decía el número tres, through. El mismo sonido, through. Through, through, through. Significa a través, ok, through school. Pero aquí, working your way through school es como que ganarse, ¿verdad? O sea, usted va subiendo poco a poco, ¿verdad? Usted va escalando, escalar. Entonces, in, in a work environment, eh, me experimenté, eh, podría ser, usted va escalando en el trabajo. Working your way through uh, your job. All right, you can say that escalando, ¿verdad? subiendo un peldaño. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I what, think it, what, yes. What's the meaning is hectic. hectic. It means a uh, very busy that you have many things to do. Okay. Agitado, frenético, pesado. pesado. All right? Pero algo así agitado, ¿verdad? Frenético. Yes, like very, very busy. All right? That's, that's the meaning. Okay. All right, I gotta, uh, let's see, uh, right now is... 902. Let's see, one or two more minutes and then we will come back to the main station, please. Okay. Okay. All right. Thanks. Just one second. Uh, it's okay. The other worker, I am friendly. Are, are friendly and the pla place? Uh -huh, and the place bad. in back. Place in back. Place in back. Place in back. Place in back. Ay, solo eso ha mandado, ¿verdad? Hello, hello. Hello. Hola. Me invocaron. Ah. Ahorita la estábamos estudiando, ahorita la estábamos repasando. No se preocupe. Está pesadita esta conversación. Sí, está. Sí. Ajá. ¿Verdad? Pero no se me desanime. Vaya, aquí estoy. I'm here to help you, all right? Ask me questions over here. Um, verdad que uh, los que están así como entre entre paréntesis o, o, o cómo se llaman esas cositas no me acuerdo cómo se llaman corchetes ajá ese se, se pronuncia también es sí, porque se, me, se mete el otro fulano se mete Dave ah, uh -huh. okay. ah uh -huh. okay es como ah, que yo no le no le estaba pronunciando porque como están entre paréntesis me imaginé que esos no van 
porque no la... Exacto, las, las, las omite. Si usted es María, ajá, la va a omitir. Ajá, sí, sí. Uh -huh. Sí. Exacto. Ajá. Y otra que esta... Teníamos una... algo de pronunciación. Ajá, eso. Eh, um, neighbor... oh. Neighborhood. Ajá. Neighborhood. 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 Es el vecindario, Hood. ¿verdad? La colonia. Neighborhood. Y de ahí estaba la otra. La otra que está en el mismo párrafo. Ajá, la que sigue. Ajá, ahorita mismo le dio. Solo voy a mandar un mensaje. Ok, two more minutes. Ahí está ya. Para que Two no digan minutos. que me perdí. <risa> ah, esa, esa dicha, eh, hectic. Hectic. Ajá, ah, son así. los días esos que es una pesadilla porque es bien apurado, o sea, bien agitado. Ajá. Hectic. 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 Y así se pronuncia, hectic. Hectic, sí. Okay. Eh, hectic. Mire, aquí no le voy a mentir, no es común, mejor decir, it's a crazy day or it's a very busy day, ¿verdad? Apurado, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Busy, right? Y había otra también. Había otra. Eh, esta donde dice, well, when I first started. Ah, ok. Cuando yo comencé, started. Está uh -huh. pasado. Started. Si tiene una E y una D, es el pasado. Aquí. Ok, started. Y Aquí esta otra. Real, realize. Uh -huh. Significa darse cuenta. Realize. Ajá. Darse Ajá. cuenta. Realize. Realize. Yep. Realize. ¿Verdad? Comencé estudiando realize. los idiomas, pero de ahí me cambié porque me di cuenta. Para uh, realize. Using the language. Ajá. O sea, no change. le iba a servir el francés. Uh -huh. Change. Shine. Ajá, change. Así se pronuncia ah, change. también. Change. 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 Uh -huh. Change. So, so I yes, change that? majors to computer science. 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 Science, 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 science. Okay. okay. Yes. Science. Y esa, ah, uh, tuition, algo así. Ah, tuition. Eso, eso es cuando, cuando a uno le cae el aguinaldo, me imagino ustedes, sí. ¿verdad? Y van a matricular a sus hijos. <risa> este. ¿Cómo lo reconoció? <risa> Sí, ya. ¿Verdad? Lo supo. ¿Verdad? Sí. Ok. A mí ya me va a tocar, por cierto. Ay, qué chivo. Ahí nos regala entonces. Porque ya no quedamos sin nada. Twitch. No, yo digo, me va a tocar porque ya va a llegar a esa edad, pero ya no hay nada. De... Ay, yo me a... <risa> Matrícula. Yo que le iban a dar vacaciones. Yo, yo tengo otra. Twitch. Es... <risa> Dígame. Pero no está ahí. Ah, Shortland. Shortland, o oh, no sé cómo es, Shortland. pero está aquí en, en esta. El, en María, well, when, first, este, es este, show. Ajá, pero abajo, en la, en la última, de computer. Ah, computer, shouldn't. Shouldn't. Vaya, es como yo le digo, you should do the homework. Should significa debería, pero aquí está, no debería. No debería. Yes. No debería. But industria, tal vez le sirve, ¿verdad? Industry, uh -huh. indo, indo, industry. Teacher, y esa de scholarship, así se, se pronuncia también. Scholarship, acuerde que la C y la ah, H en inglés es una K. Scholarship. La, la C y la H se pronuncian como K. Ok. Por eso que escuela se dice school, no se dice school. Okay. Ah, ok. Mm. Y scholarship uh, es una beca, scholarship. Ok, scholarship. Vaya, ya si gusta, entiendo. vamos a regresar a la, a la sala principal para que así evacuemos las, para que todos estemos, okay. ¿verdad? Si no, se nos van a, a dormir algunos. <risa> ok, bien. Nice, all right, so just one second. Ok.
All right, so I'm going to wait so everybody is in the in the main session, okay? Vamos a esperar mientras todo regresa. All right. Here we go. Teacher. Okay, so to continue with the class, all right? Let me ask you because I I need to I need to I need to ask you. Do you have any questions about, I don't know, the meaning of a word, the pronunciation of a word or something that you want me to explain to you? Tienen preguntas de significado, de pronunciación, or we should continue, right? Should, should es esta palabra, verdad? Should, de debería, you know, should, should, verdad? Aquí es negativo, es shouldn't. Solo acuérdense, verdad, que la C y la H en inglés es una K. Por eso es que, y creo que tal vez no se le va a olvidar lo que le voy a decir ahorita, es por eso que escuela no se dice shul, shul, se dice school. ¿Ok? Por eso. La pesadilla de los diciembre después del aguinaldo, le comentaba a algunos, ¿verdad? Tuition, ¿verdad? La matrícula, si, si tenemos hijos, si tienen hijos en colegio, ¿verdad? La matrícula, ¿verdad? O si le ha tocado pagar universidad o algo, ¿verdad? Tuition. All right. So let's continue then with something else if you don't have any questions for me. Okay, so just one second I'm over here. I'm getting that presentation ready. And, uh, and just one thing. So don't worry if you don't understand a lot of works over here. So it's okay. All right, so uh, you're just beginning to learn this. Están aprendiendo. Y de repente nos saturamos de información, but that's okay. Por eso hagámonos, ¿verdad? Una memoria escrita, right? So that's what I have over here. So, yo también tomo apuntes, no se preocupe. <laughs> okay, and uh, let's continue. That's the listening. And para que nos riamos un poquito, uh, this is what I show you yesterday over here, right? And um, pongamos a un lado acá. There's another listening, right? There's another listening that you will be doing. Uh, so All right. But esta clase va a ser como un poquito más de práctica. Ya yo expliqué un montón de gramática, pero ahorita es como que it'll be crazy or hectic, you know, hectic como agitado or busy because of this. Eh, esta, acuérdense que el PDF ustedes ya lo tienen. Está en su WhatsApp. La clase de ahora ya está todo. Está en un PDF. All right? Para que usted le dé Zoom. Eh, let's see. I'm going to ask a, uh, a friend over here who can help me read this. Vamos a ver. Es un, pequeño, un, po un poco de humor, ¿verdad? Les presento este humor porque tiene que ver con la clase. Y también el hecho de que si entendemos algo en otro idioma y nos reímos, o sea, ya es una gran ganancia. Right? Uh, let's see, Eduardo, would you like to help us, sir? Read this and what they are saying over there. Uh, Eduardo? I cannot hear you, sir. All right. Uh, so, Eduardo, can you hear me, sir? I cannot hear you. Yeah, yes, I can All hear right. you. Yeah, go ahead, sir. So help us, help us read, please, uh, this and what they are saying. And maybe you can uh, go the extra mile and explain what you see in the picture and why it's funny for you. Okay. Okay, it says, I think getting healthy is, gonna, is going to kill me. Coronavirus reminders. Wash hands, sneeze into the sleeve, keep your thin distance. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> well, it's funny because uh, the man is working out and sweating a lot. They don't have the distance <laughs> uh, to, to keep safe and away from the, the COVID. And that's it. <laughs> the money yeah, is sweating that's basically, a lot. 
That's great. And also ironic, right? This is an irony, right? It's ironic because when you go to the gym, it's because you are supposed to be healthy, right? To keep yourself healthy. But by going to the gym, you can get infected and, you know, die. <laughs> so that's why it's funny over there. So, and look at the expressions in there, right? Look at the expressions of all of these people in there. Okay. There is going to be another listening over here because uh, tonight is going to be practice. And this one has to do with exercise program. And just a spoiler, a spoiler alert, ¿verdad? ¿verdad? Le voy a como spoilear o a darles información demasiado de lo que se va a tratar. It's between two friends. And there is uh, this friend who is dating a girl. And then he uh, tells uh, his girlfriend that he is a, the type of person who goes to the gym, but he's lying a big time, you know, to her. O sea que le está inventando, la, le está dando cuenta, le está dando cuenta a la novia que solo en el gimnasio pasa, but that's not true. So that's the listening about over there, all right? So that's what the listening will be about, all right? So that being said, let me share with you the, uh, the access to that one. Vamos a poner quizás un poquito, vamos a ponerlo con tiempo, ¿verdad? Para que no nos estemos, y, y, se, y quizás aprovechemos más esto al máximo. Son las 9.15, o sea, las 9.15. Tipo 920 uh, or 921, unos cinco minutos for us to practice this. Okay? And, and in that way, we will uh, take advantage of this. Let's, let's do the, the quiz so you get familiar. But right now, we're going to do it quick. Okay? Como siempre, you know, as usual. Uh, Listen to the quiz and then I'm going to send you to the purse or to the breaker room so you can practice. All right. Entonces, en dos tiempos, listen to it and then uh, I'll be sending you back to the breaker room so you can go ahead and practice. Entonces, I'm sending the, uh, the uh, access to this right now. You should be getting this in a second. I'm also sharing the same access information into the uh, Zoom chat so you may have it as well, all right? So, uh, no, 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 I'm sorry. It's the same one that I just shared with you. Quiero uh, ver, this is college live. Pero en un minuto se lo voy a, se lo voy a conseguir, okay? Permítame un momento. All right, just one second. Perdón. Mandé al chat el mismo, ¿verdad? Okay, so I found it. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to send it to you right away. Let's see, the name is exercise program. Yeah, I found it. Uh, my apologies, all right? Tenía el mismo enlace y tenía que tener otro over there. So I just sent it to you. Sorry about that, okay? Now go ahead and practice, please. So listen to the audio, please. So listen to the audio individually. And then if you want, share the score with me through the WhatsApp. And once you're ready, cuando ya comience a recibir uno, dos, tres o cuatro, I know, I know you're ready and I will send you back to the listenings. Y cuando comience los, los breaker rooms, vamos a tener cinco minutos. So you, you will have five minutes, comenzando desde que los mande los grupos pequeños. All right? From there. So play the listening, please, if you don't mind.
All right, so remember it's optional if you want to share your scores with me in the WhatsApp, okay? But at least I need to know that you're ready. All right. Okay. All right, so thank you, Eduardo. You got a five out of five. That's great. All right, so keep in coming, please keep in coming. All right, so Douglas, four out of five. That's great. Thank you. All right, so one more and I'll be sending Mr. Baltasar. Nice, five out of five, sir. That's great, okay. Hoy sí pude, teacher. Hoy sí. <risa> Solo que por estar experimentando me salieron dos malas. <risa> That's okay. That's okay. Pero, pero eso lo puede hacer. <risa> That's okay. It's an accomplishment, ¿verdad? Es un triunfo. Eh, eh, that's a victory. So I just uh, shared with you the, uh, the script of, of this. So it's 9.23. Significa que... Nine, lo más que nos vamos a tardar es until 9.30, ¿verdad? 9.30 for us to practice this or less, all right? So because we still have to do a, a lot of things over here. So thank you, Oscar. Uh, you send the responses over here and everything, all right? Uh, so I'm, I'm, I'm making the, the rooms right now. Or do you have any questions for me before uh, we work in the rooms? Okay, so breaker rooms will be then. Okay. All right, so uh, you should be getting a message so you could join the breaker room and go ahead, please. Hola, buenas noches. Night, buenas noches. Buenas noches. Hola. 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 Comenzamos. Okay. Eh, ¿Escuchamos el audio o cómo hacemos?
Ustedes elijan, Todos ¿verdad? tratamos de, de, de ser la, you, you have five la conversación. Así que... Creo que sería mejor practicar la conversación. Yes. Okay. 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 Mm -hmm. okay. Look at my screen. Ah, thank you. Empiezo yo, si gustan, con con quién? Con yo, con Josh. Okay. Excelente. Empiezo yo. Okay. Hey, I hear you and Stephanie are really getting serious. Uh, Michael, yeah, I think, I think you impress it. What me new research programs? Uh, what? Uh, what are you talking about? What exercise program? What did you tell her? Solo lo voy a interrumpir uh, un momento. Si gusta. Okay. Perdón. Eh, he visto en otros grupos que también funciona que vaya en línea por línea. Digamos, comienza César, va eh, Mr. Balta y luego sigue Claudia. La cuestión es practicar por las cuestiones del tiempo, ¿verdad? Que no, okay. no nos va a alcanzar el tiempo. If you think that that works for you, you can do that. ¿Ok? Perfecto. Ok. So, okay. Entonces, la, entonces comenzamos. Comencemos. Ok. Si gusta. All right. Bueno. Y, right. y me, I apologize because I have to go, you know, visit some other rooms. ¿Verdad? Me tengo que... Ok, ir, ok. Ir the room, room, room. Ok. All right. Okay. So, share right. your screen, maybe, maybe it's all right. Yes. Ok. All right, gentlemen, you're ready to practice. I'm Jacqueline. <clears throat> so, so, <laughs> or too much. <laughs> no, not really. I don't think so. Yeah, they speak like that. That's correct. That's correct. Estaba bien difícil. Yo no lo entendí mucho. Yo le tuve que escuchar varias veces. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. Lo rescatable de esto es la gramática que estamos viendo. All right, so that's why we're doing this. Okay, Josh, Michael, Josh, Michael. If you if you like, uh, I don't know, you go line by line. Let's see, uh, I don't know, uh, Jacqueline, uh, and then, I don't know, Eduardo and Raul, or you switch, ¿verdad? So we can practice. Okay. Or, or you practice quickly, uh, Josh and Michael, and then you practice again. It's up to you. Go ahead, please. Uh, si quiere empiezo yo. A ver si, a ver qué tal me sale. Dice, okay. Hey, I heard you and Stephanie are really getting serious. I don't know. Yeah, I think she will be impressed with the new exercise program. Oh, Jacqueline. Uh, Jacqueline. What? Mm. What? Are you take about what exercise programs? What did you tell her? Well, you know, I join stay in shape. First, I generally get up no. every morning at 5.30 a.m. Oh, yeah. Since when? You don't know. Allowed out of bed until at least 7.30 p.m. Uh, no, no. And on Monday and Wednesday? Ah, yeah. uh, no, another tall tale. Otro cuento. <laughs> I, I, I almost always go jogging for about half an hour, you know, to improve my endurance. Hey, shopping to the um, refrigerator. 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 Refrigerator for a class <laughs> or of milk. milk. Doesn't count. <laughs> <laughs> of milk does not, doesn't, doesn't count. Of course. Of course. Uh -huh. <laughs> of course, before, before I leave, I usually 
make sure I do some stretches so I don't put muscle on my room. Ajá. Sí, estimador, este tipo. Sí. <risa> right. right. Ay, one jump it, Jack. One jump un saltito. O sea. <risa> Then, Ajá. Uh -huh. Then I told her that I really life. With weights. Uh, with weights Tuesday and Thursday. For, for about an about hour. About Pero así, hour. ¿verdad? Así levanta pesas, ¿verdad? Así, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. <risa> After the world. <laughs> like this, right? This technique, right? That's what he used, right? Like, okay, I'm sorry. Uh, after work, okay? Hmm. Me perdí hoy. Here. Here. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Hump. Hmm. 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 Timo Uh huh. <laughs> this helps. <laughs> Eduardo. It's, uh, this helps me. Uh, uh, build the muscle, muscle strength. Strength, strength. Yes. Ah, uh, one from barbell. Barbell. Finally, I often go hiking on Saturday with my dog. What dog? Well, <laughs> I like hiking because he, he helped me bar. Oh, of stress. stress. I reduce anxiety the build of the build it up during the week. During the week. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> those those lies. Uh -huh. well, 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 a movie. a movie of in, or invitation no uh -huh. <laughs> inviting you over inviting you over to visit inviting you over to visit to visit hasta okay. ahí ya no veo ya hasta ahí llegaba ok ajá uh -huh. who's next uh, Raúl right perdí, me perdí. Raúl over here take a look if I buy the pizza. <laughs> o sea, lo voy a visitar si vos pagás, vea. <laughs> but, uh -huh. uh, and on Sundays, I take the day off from exercising, but I usually take my dog for a walk. Forget it. Forget it. She she's never buys this story. story. O sea, no te va a creer, no, te, no se va a tragar <laughs> <en> mentira. <laughs> Okay. Ahora una de vaqueros dice. Una de vaqueros. Eh, eso se traduce. De, de hecho, aquí arriba, a tall tale es una de vaqueros. Esto. Mm. A, tall, a, tall, a tall tale. Una de vaqueros. Este Vaya, de... Eh, no se preocupe si no entiende listening a la primera, segunda, tercera, cuarta vez. Esto no está condensado. Mm -hmm. Se lo pongo para que usted se tenga exposición al idioma. Y la gramática real. Cuando hablamos, no solo hablamos en presente, mezclamos el pasado, mezclamos el futuro y una gran mezcolanza. Entonces, that's what they do over here. All right? So that's what they do over here. El audio sí estuvo así como que un poco duro. Yeah. Que uh, varias veces para tratar de entender ciertas cosas. Yeah, that happens over there. Pero sí, aún a pesar de que no sé mucho inglés, sí, ese tipo sí es pajero. ¡Ja, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's okay. So uh, let's go back to the main station because we keep keep on practice. Okay. 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 So um, that's the idea. Um, let's see. Están inspirados sus uh, demás compañeros, no quieren regresar. <laughs> o oh, ya se fueron. <laughs> right, Eduardo, they don't want to come back. <laughs> Too much. 
<laughs> yeah, I can see that. You can see that, right? Okay. We will do a review. Let's see. Uh, four participants already. Now, you, you see how he uses, you know, the days of the week, and then he says uh, Mondays, Wednesdays, and then adverse over here. So, and then time expression. So that, that's how you're supposed to, to do. A barbell son las que se ponen acá, ¿verdad? Que se paran y se levantan así, a barbell, ¿verdad? Por eso le dice a, a one pound barbell. Okay. One pound barbell, o sea, una barra, barbell. Que okay, that one, that's a barbell. O sea, lo más que hace el ejercicio este, este individuo es de la refri a donde agarra la comida. Que decía por acá. Aquí ve. But, hey, jogging to the refrigerator for a glass of milk doesn't come, ¿verdad? O sea, trotar para agarrar un vaso de Le leche no cuenta. No cuenta. So what is, what is, I have a question. What is the meaning of, of jog jogging? Trotar. Oh. Creo que no es mentiroso, como decimos nosotros, ¿verdad, Pajero? Que dice que hasta va a escalar montañas. Hiking, decía por acá. If somebody can help me find it. Dice exercise program, blah, blah. blah. Eh, I always go jogging, etc. And make sure, blah, blah, blah. I told her, uh, sorry about it. Eh, Hiking, aquí está, de hiking. Hi, uh -huh. hiking. Eso significa ir, no sé, a, al monte, como dice, o ir a, a escalar eh, una montaña. Hiking, pero era como una caminata, ¿verdad? Hiking. Because it, it helps me burn off stress, ¿verdad? En anxiety, anxiety. That builds up during the week, ¿verdad? El único ejercicio que hace es este, ¿verdad? Este, así de la mano para... So that's the only exercise. Oh, uh, lo, lo viernes dice. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Pero hoy estudia, dicen, inglés. <laughs> hey. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. All right. So let's continue over here. A review, my friends. Let's get up. I'll do. Uh, Okay, so take a look, please. Yes, no questions, just as a review. Maybe uh, you can find some yes, no questions over here, or you may find yes, no questions on this one, right? You may find that, right? Uh, if they say, do you, or does she, or does he, those are yes, no questions. Why? Because most likely that person or the other speaker will answer you yes or no. That's why you calling yes, no questions. All right? Por eso se llaman preguntas de sí o okay, que no, ¿verdad? Entonces, if I ask you, do I get up early, ¿verdad? Una pregunta retórica. Do I get up early? O las demás personas se levantan demasiado tarde, ¿verdad? Or vice versa, right? So, uh, uh, do you call other companies? Do they transport the products? Do we check the policies? All right. Las and then you can say, yes, I do. No, I don't. Cuando la agarran en el retén, ¿verdad? Y usted está tomado, ¿verdad? O ha tomado. Es como que. No, fíjese. <laughs> you are the designated driver, ¿verdad? Es el, el conductor designado. Designated yes, I am. Driver. I am. <laughs> yes. O le pregunta, ¿va? ¿Is it me, my lord? ¿Seré yo, señor? ¿Is it me, my lord? <risa> ¿Is it me, my lord? ¿Is it me, my lord? Right? Esa es una pregunta también, un yes, no question. ¿verdad? ¿Is it me, my lord? Yes, you are, ¿verdad? Así que las heladas, ¿verdad? <risa> yes. So, you see, yes, I do. No, I don't. Entonces, this is a short question. But in reality, you just can say, yo le pregunto, a, do you take a shower? Every day, se baña todos los días, okay? Yes. Two times, you may say, you may say, yes, of course. Y para enfatizar, yes, I do, all right? 
Y a usted, ¿qué lingüe? Me puede decir. Entonces, <risa> <risa> right? <risa> ok. So, those are yes, no questions. And today and tomorrow, yeah, there's still time. You're going to practice. Aquí está un poquito más, ¿verdad? Como cuando a uno le dejaban carteles, ¿verdad? De irlo a poner y dibujar así todo, ¿verdad? Entonces, la explicación. It's the same thing over here. Acuérdense, remember that you have the PDF. So this information, you already have it, ¿verdad? Si usted quiere apuntar, go ahead. No, you're free to do it. Pero ahí está en el PDF. Para que usted lo amplíe. And you have, let's see, VIP access. Questions we do, does. We use do or does to make a question in the simple present tense. This is just a grammar thing. O sea, que es cuestión de gramática. Tiene que ir para que gramaticalmente sea una pregunta. Aunque yo le puedo preguntar. Le puedo decir, you speak English? You speak Chinese? Intonation is it's what matters. Okay? Oh, Intonation is what, is what matters over here. All right? And... Uh, You see, affirmative, as I said, you speak English. I can say, oh, do you speak English, right? Si se lo estoy afirmando, le digo, ah, you are a great student. You speak English very well. Pero if I can ask you, you speak, uh, uh, do you speak uh, French? You can say, no, I don't, right? Etc. Entonces, the base form, el verbo base que está acá, este no, no cambia, ¿verdad? Never, okay? Y, por ejemplo, le, le dicen, do you? No, no va a decir, do you to go? No. You will say, do you to speak? No. Do you speak English? All right? La pregunta del millón. Do you go to church? Do you go to church? All right? Maybe right now you don't. ¿Verdad? ¿Va a la iglesia? All right? Do you go to church? You may say, no, never. Right? You may say, all right? Okay. And... Uh, Tercera persona, does he speak English? O él va a la iglesia? Does he speak English? All right. Good, good, does he speak English? Recuérdense que en pregunta el verbo no cambia. Nunca. Es su forma básica. Ok. That's why it says over here, look, third person, lose the final lesson question. En tercera persona yo le insisto, póngale la S, ¿verdad? Póngale la S. Uh, she speaks English. She watches TV. She takes the bus. Etc. But when you ask, I can ask you, eh, Rocío, uh, do you speak Italian? You may say, no, right? No. Okay. So in, that, in, in negative, I can tell you, so she doesn't speak Italian. She doesn't speak Italian. Entonces, dos reglas simples. In questions and in negative, the verb does not change. Preguntas y negativos. El verbo no cambia. All right? And that's the way it is. Tercera persona, agregándole la S, or saying, uh, she goes to work uh, every day, in affirmative statements. O sea que la cuestión de las S va a preocuparse when you speak about a third person. Okay? Estoy hablando con Raúl, pero estoy hablando, digamos, vamos a hablar de que, no sé, Douglas no mandó un reporte. O right. oh, tiene que mandarlo. So, a third person, right? ya, ya le va a llegar el memo. <laughs> a, friendly, oh, a, friendly, a friendly reminder, ¿verdad? Un friendly reminder <laughs> le va a llegar. <laughs> ok. okay. <laughs> All right. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, now, eh, eh, lo que quiero aclarar es lo siguiente, ¿verdad? Entonces, cuando ustedes miren estas conversaciones que tienen hasta una imagen, eh, y aquí no voy a ser condescendiente, ni voy a ser irónico, ni nada por el estilo, son las conversaciones que usted tiene que manejar. Ya si usted no maneja esta conversación alguna, eh, es porque tenemos que practicar un poquito más. ¿Ok? But the other ones on the website, go, you know, right now we're just here. The other ones, se salen de la atmósfera, ¿verdad? La, las otras conversaciones. The ones in the website, por favor. But this one, you should practice like this, right? Or at least try to do it that way. De hecho, está, it's, this conversation is very interesting, by the way. ¿Ok? Por cierto, está bien interesante and funny at the same time. All right? Eh, I'm going to play it for you. You can take notes for the pronunciation and everything right there. And... Um, 
let me just get the listening and then we take it from there. Ya les pongo el audio. Give me just a couple of seconds. All right. In the meantime, leámosla. You know, read this, please. Jack and Amy, conversation. I, I get up on noon. Espero ver, verdad, su sonrisa, que entiendan. You know, you understand the context over there. Okay. Uh, all right. Como one second. Over there. Creo que todavía están viendo la pantalla. No sé si hasta perdí. Okay. So I'm, I'm looking for the listening movie here, right? So just one second. And I guess this is the one. Is it Kucha? Can you listen? Yes. So a little. A little bit. All right. Yeah, you may say too low, right? Muy bajo. Too low, all right? Too low, too low. All right, too low. Let me see if I can fix it up. Okay. Uh, si no, al final, como tenemos solo el texto acá, it doesn't really matter, all right? Solo es una práctica más extra. Um, la cuestión está que ya tiene el 100%. So, um... <laughs> Ah, perdón, quizás no, no lo había compartido con el audio, solo lo estaban escuchando de mi computadora. Ah. Sí, eso era, ok. Sí, ahí el detalle. All right, so let me fix, let me fix that. I know, I know what it is, all right? Ok. Yeah, exactly, that was the case. Page 38, I exercise thought. six, mm -hmm. conversation. I get up at noon. Listen and practice. Let's go to the park on Sunday. Okay, but let's go in the afternoon. I sleep late on weekends. What time do you get up on Sundays? At 10 o'clock. Oh, that's early. On yeah, Sundays, I get up at noon. Really? Do you eat breakfast then? Sure. I have breakfast every day. Then let's meet at this restaurant at one o'clock. They serve breakfast all day. I'm going to play it again. Yes, please. Oh, yes. And now what I want you to do is lo mismo que yo estoy haciendo, the same I'm doing. Co eh, identificar los conectores or los link sounds. Okay, that's what I'm doing, my mother. Consonante S, final de la palabra con una vocal, se tienen que unir. Okay, como uh, that's early, o en este caso la T se hace R, get up, I get up at noon. Y aquí I get up at, get up at, get up at noon, ¿verdad? A saber qué estoy diciendo, ¿verdad? Pero that's how you have to say, my mother. Okay. Um, again. Page 38, exercise six, conversation. I get up at noon. Listen and practice. Let's go to the park on Sunday. Okay, but let's go in the afternoon. I sleep late on weekends. What time do you get up on Sundays? At 10 o'clock. Oh, that's early. On Sundays, I get up at noon. Really? Do you eat breakfast then? Sure. I have breakfast every day. Then let's meet at this restaurant at one o'clock. They serve breakfast all day. All right. Thank you. Can I have two volunteers, please, who can help us uh, practice this, please? Okay. So, abra su micrófono, so open your microphone, and then we take it from there. All right, Raul, thank you, sir. You are 
And anybody else? So one more, please. In floor. All right. So. Okay. Um, thank you. So, uh, Raul, you're Jack, and Floor, you're Amy. Go ahead. Okay. Okay. Let's go to the park on Sunday. Okay, but let's go in the afternoon. I sleep late on weekends. Do you get up at 10 o'clock? Oh, really? Do you eat breakfast then? Sure. I have breakfast every day. Then let me at the restaurant at one o'clock. They serve breakfast at day. Hay uno aquí, por cierto. Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. That's true. Comienza con D. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, just listen to me, please. Okay. Let me just go over this pronunciation and just uh, uh, listen up, please. So let's go to the park on Sunday. Okay. But let's go in the afternoon. I sleep late on weekends. What time do you get up on Sundays? At 10 o'clock. Oh, that's early. Uh, on Sundays, I get up at noon. Really? Do you eat breakfast then? Sure. I have breakfast every day. Then let's meet at this restaurant at one o'clock. They serve breakfast all day. ¿Verdad? Si usted no se levanta todo el día, that's a good place, right? You can go. Okay. That's a great place over there. So in a second, I will come back to this screen. So you can continue practicing because that's the idea. You will practice in person, but it's almost time to go, but we still have, let's say around 10 more minutes. Tenemos como 10 minutos, pero this is what you're going to do. Uh, so in the next 10 more minutes that we have, we will do two things. Practice the conversation, and then you're going to write uh, yes, no questions, okay? And you're going to answer this with your classmates. De hecho, es una combinación de yes, no questions and WH questions. Eh, estas son preguntas de información, all right? What time, a qué horas, all right? What time, cuándo, okay? When do, when do they take the software, verdad? Cuándo abordan el software, verdad? What time does he have been there, verdad? A qué hora cena? What time do you get up? A qué hora te levantas? Do you get up early on week on weekdays? What time, etc. Okay, entonces le va a poner el do o el does. That's all you have to do over here. And um, and what you have to do is you're gonna try to answer, verdad? Si le pregunto yo, por ejemplo, a Juan Carlos o Juan Carlos, do you get up early on weekdays? Do you get up early on weekdays? You can say, yes, I do, or yes, yes. And then you give me the long answer. May I say, yes, I get up at 5 a.m. Okay? Entonces, le hago la pregunta, me hace la respuesta corta, y luego me dice la información. All right? If I ask uh, right now, let's say um, somebody over here, uh, Nelson, Mr. Nelson Hernandez, if I ask you, sir, do you get up early on weekdays? ¿Se levanta temprano o madruga los días de semana? What would you say, sir? Would you say yes or no? Queremos hasta ahí. Let's stay until there. I can hear you, sir. Yeah, le, le canso leer los labios, ¿verdad? Pero no lo escucho. Yo sé que está diciendo yes, I do. <laughs> Pero quítale el mudo. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. All right. Ahora deme detalles. Yes, I do. Uh -huh. I get up. I get up um, at five o'clock. Five a.m. or five. Five a.m. o'clock. Okay. Five a.m. o'clock. Thank you, sir. Uh, just one clarification, una aclaración, clarification. Uh, o'clock es lo mismo que decir a.m. si es en la mañana o p.m. que es en la tarde. Pero o'clock es en punto. All right. En punto. O'clock. Si, if you're not sure, si no está seguro, digamos around, ¿verdad? A veces me levanto a las 5.30, around, or 5.25. Entonces, para no especificar, so I, um, uh, cerca de las 5 y media o cerca de las 6, you, you will say, I get up around 5.30, I get up around 6. Okay, or si es exacto, you know, uh, o'clock, right? 
Si es de las personas que you just listen to the alarm clock and you get up, ¿verdad? Entonces, denos su, su, su clave because I'm not a type of person. <laughs> I just lose the alarm. So, entonces, eh, we still have five or six minutes. Let's take advantage of this. Esto lo tienen en el PDF. All right? And you can practice. Practice the conversation, please. Y luego este ejercicio de, de uh, fill in the blanks. So, we're good? Yes, I hope so. Okay, thank you. Um, let's see, sección de grupos. And you are still, let's see, 15. And volver a crear. Okay. Aquí es la suerte, ¿verdad? A ver a quién le toca. <laughs> okay, so uh, Eduardo, Catherine Sanchez, I mean, for you're together with her. Uh, Douglas, uh, Balta, and then Nelson together. Oscar, Dolores, uh, Rocio, you're together. Cesar, Claudia, Juan Carlos, again. And Nancy, Jacqueline, and who's the other one? Raul. Go ahead, please. Let's take advantage of their time. We only have six more minutes. Okay. Buenas noches. Good evening, sir. Hola. Good evening. No se preocupe, Douglas. Este, sí. Eh, Eso le estaba comentando ya, don Pablo. Sí, ya me había fijado que le tocó. Entonces, pero si gusta, escuchemos y que don Balta, Mr. Barta y Mr. Hernández nos hagan los honores. La conversation. Conversation. Go ahead, sir. Eh, oh, okay, ok, ok. Eh, let's go to the park on Sunday. Nelson. Okay, but let's go in the afternoon. I sleep late on weekends. Mm -hmm. uh, what, the, what, what day uh, do, you, do you have on Sunday? Mm -hmm. At 10 o'clock. Oh, thanks, hurt. Oh, thank hurt. Oh, thank hurt. Oh, Sunday. Uh, is, 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 is good at none. Ah, okay. Continue, yeah. please. Really? Really? You eat breakfast then? Sure, have breakfast every day. Then? Then let's meet at this restaurant at one o'clock. They are celebrated all day. Okay. Thank, you, thank you, thank you. Bye. Ahora, si, listen to me, please. ¿Verdad? Okay, okay. All right, thank you so much. Uh, Estas son frases. Let's go to the park, ¿verdad? Vamos, ¿verdad? Hagamos. Hagamos. Let's do it, ¿verdad? Let's go, vamos. Ok. Si yo le digo, let's do it, hagámoslo. Ok. Let's go, vamos, ¿verdad? Me incluyo. Right? Uh -huh. Eh... Uh, let's go in the afternoon. Aquí está bien. I sleep late on weekends. Bye. What time do you get up on Sundays? What time? What, what time? time? Ay, cierra la, 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 la boca. What time? What time? Like, what time, what do, time? Do, you, do you get up on Sunday? Do you get up? Do you get up? La frase, get up? La frase va a ser, eh, what time do you? Or what time? Uh, aquí, ¿A qué horas? What, what time do you? Get up. De aquí para adelante de, de, puede cambiar el sujeto o el verbo. Yo le puedo decir, what, time, what time do you eat lunch? ¿A qué horas almuerza? What time do you uh, okay. start working? Entonces, aquí me va a decir, that's early, early, early. Eso es temprano, right? That's early. That's early. Uh, I get up, I get up, get up. I get up get at up. noon. O sea, me levanto. Get I get up at noon. I get up. I get up. Get up at noon. At noon. I get up at noon. At noon, yes. Des, 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 noon. Desayuno, breakfast, breakfast. Yes, yes. Yes, breakfast. You know that already. And then, uh, then significa entonces. Pues sí. Eso significa. Pues sí. Then. Okay. Do you eat breakfast? Uh, then. Then, let's, then let's meet at this restaurant. Entonces nos vemos en. Let's meet at this restaurant. A la una en punto. At one o'clock. They serve oh, breakfast all day. They serve all day. breakfast all day. All right? 
<laughs> nice. Now let's do the other one, please. This this part. Timber impressions. But yeah. I, I have to go because I need to visit some of your classmates. Necesito ir de grupo en grupo visitando, ¿verdad? Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Time. Time expression, deberíamos de encontrar lo que está aquí en el, el A. Oh, you do okay. that. When you get a, what time? Yeah, what that, time? Aquí sería solo de en la A, solo ocupar do o das. Sería what time? At night, por ejemplo. Eh, no, en la parte A tenemos que ocupar do o das. Ah. Entonces, en el 1 se ocupa do you get up, porque está preguntando. En el otro dice what time? Vos sería do dos, what time do you go home on, on Fridays sería do porque es para do y luego sería en la 3, la 4 y la 5 do your father works on weekends father works on weekends but I said your does your father work on weekends? Cierto, teacher? Yes, that's correct. What time does your father which one it is? It's ah, number three, right? Does your father work on weekends? That's correct because it's the father, it's he, yes. Porque es tercera persona, ¿verdad? Correct, yes, you're right. Mother cook every day that you call Read in the evening. Entonces, three, four, and five is does. When does your parents shop? Eh, en, en, si son papás, son ellos. Entonces, do your parents. Ah, do, do your, your parents. parents. Ellos. Pero dice, when do your parents? When, when do yours? Okay. When do your parents, your, your, your parents, your, when do your parents, when, when do, do your do. parents shop? And number seven is, do you check your email at night? English, 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 English. No, ah. no, no, ya terminamos. <laughs> okay, yeah, but let's read it in English because it's over Teacher. there. Uh -huh. What is noon? Mediodía. Mediodía, señor. Ah. Uh -huh. oh. Midnight noon. es medianoche. Mid es medianoche. Midnight, correct. Right. Ok, bueno, practiquemos otra vez. Con, no sé quién comienza. Hoy. Let's see. Okay. One more minute and then we say goodbye because it's 10 or 4 already. Ok. okay. Empieza el cloud, si quiere. So, okay. one more minute. Hello. I'm sorry, it's time to say goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> so tomorrow we will start with this. All right. A review of this. Okay, eh, okay. Como me decían por ahí que no estaba en el PDF esta cuestión, pero ya revisé si está. No, si está, es la última. Ajá. La conversación no está. Um, ah. ajá. La conversación no la encontré. No, but, it, but it's over here. Take a look. Después de la explicación. Yes, it's the, the, en la última página. Yes, aquí mm. está. Aquí está, mira. Pero, eh, aquí está. Solo que está como en chiquitito. Aquí está. Ah. Oh. Ahí está. Ajá. De hecho, faltan algunas cosas para mañana, así que tenemos tarea. Ok, eso es bueno. Ok. 
Ok. <risa> Así que ya, le quité ya el factor sorpresa. For tomorrow, you, so you can study. <risa> ok. All right. So, hope okay, to see you tomorrow. Worry. And I see hope, you to, hope to get your homework, all right? For tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Yes, bye -bye. I hope. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. See bye. you tomorrow. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow. Good night. 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 Good